I'm Clay Carlino, and I did not give you the entire story when I was replacing my oil pan. If you've ever worked underneath a vehicle, you know that sometimes the attachment mechanisms that are built onto the frame can fail. Rivet nuts can work their way free so that when you're trying to remove an old bolt, the nuts just spin inside the frame where there's no way to hold them in place and you end up cutting the bolt off and trying to replace the nut. That happened to me when I was removing the sway bar bracket. I did have to cut off the bolt, and then I had to come up with a creative solution to reattaching that nut that was on the inside. This hole is where I had to cut out the bolt for the sway bar bracket. This nut was inside the frame. It's supposed to be mounted there in such a way that it doesn't come loose. But it did come loose. So what I need to do is cut some slots on either side of this hole here so that I can insert that nut and then there will be an opening that I can weld through to hold that nut in place. Alright, hopefully that will work. I need to place this thing in here so that it lands right where that hole is. I'm going to stick this up through the hole. There we go. And I'm just going to drop this right down through here. That is right where it needs to be. See, that's me jiggling it with my finger. Oh, it's not moving around anymore. Praise it be. Now, try not to burn myself any more than I already have. I think that might have actually worked. Holy crap. I just need to clean this up just a little bit. I'm going to clean out these threads. This is a metric 12 by 1.75 threaded hole. I already put oil on the tap. Let's try this out. Look at that. That is what we want. Okay, I need to clean up this area. And then I'm going to hit it with some paint to help protect it from the elements. I think I'm going to do some other cleanup work while I'm under here too. Now, to hit the problem areas with a little bit of rust reformer. Now that the rust reformer has had a chance to dry, I'm going to hit this with rust preventative paint. These are the sway bar brackets. I'd like to clean them up, get rid of all this rust. Got our sandblasting booth here. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go. And I'm afraid that there is no way that I'm going to be able to record this process because you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. And there we go. Two beautiful sandblasted parts. These are the brackets that I pulled off of the underside. This is after sandblasting them and then priming them with a galvanizing primer and then hitting them with rust preventative uh, enamel paint. 
and of course I made them red because that makes the car go faster. I also got these online. These are new bushings which are split right here so that they're easier to install and uh, they come with new bolts. So these, these go right on here just like that and then just slide that over like that and try to line up the holes as best as we can. Got it. Let's, let's see if I can get the other bolt to line up. That's one. So that's it. Now, I'm sure that there are other ways that I could have handled that, but uh, you know, when you're laying on the frozen concrete floor of a garage in the middle of the night, you do what you have to do. And uh, to be honest, I feel pretty good about the repair. So, if you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, how to reattach a uh, I guess it's a rivet nut, or whatever the hell that thing was, to the inside of a frame. Not necessarily the right way, but it did work. Yay!